Hello, everyone. My name is Anastasia Nikitina, and I am a QA analyst at Exact Pro. I would like to tell you about a testing tool which helps us do functional testing. Sailfish is an active real-time testing tool which helps us test exchanges, MTFs, broker systems, and ticker plans. But it can also be used as an exchange simulator and can help in testing post-trade systems. Uh, it has integrated test management, test execution, and test reporting capabilities via its web front end. Uh, it can be used as a part of an automated test harness uh, to run tests in an unattended mode. Uh, the tool is typically used for back-end testing and typically connects to message gateways or APIs um, and databases of the system under test. However, GUI capabilities are also supported. Um, in essence, Sailfish um, creates transaction flows into the system and then verifies responses. Um, order entry, market data, post trade, all these and other data streams can be checked in one test script. For this purpose, Sailfish supports simultaneous connections of mul multiple users for both incoming and outgoing flows. Um, Sailfish verifies the integrity of the incoming messages. Their correspondence with protocols is defined in dictionaries created for a particular system under test, and dictionaries are developed for industry standard and proprietary protocols. Um, new dictionaries can be added and existing dictionaries can be edited. Um, test scripts for Sailfish are developed as human-readable CSV files, either manually by test analysts or automatically using traffic capture and uh, special test script generators. Test scripts reflect the natural flow of a transaction. Sailfish verifies that the incoming stream contains all expected messages, that they are correct, and that they are sent in the right order. Um, it is also possible to check uh, if the incoming stream is consistent. That is, if it contains any unexpected messages or fields or redundant messages. Test execution reports produced by Sailfish reflects the difference between the expected outcome and the actual behavior of the system. The report is transparent. It is easy to identify which actions have failed and why. The reports are stored in the database of the system for future reference and comparison across several releases of the, of the system under test, if needed. Uh, what else can I tell you about Sailfish? Um, Sailfish allows you to uh, glide past some typical obstacles encountered in test automation. Uh, let's consider a typical situation. You need to check the behavior of orders on the book when the status of the in, uh, instrument has changed. Usually the mm, change is done manually via GUI, and in that case, your test is only semi-automated. However, if the system under test has a documented interface between the backend and the GUI, Sailfish can simulate actions done via GUI and your test is fully automated. Sailfish is fluid. If you connect it to a trading system, it becomes trading system. If you subscribe it to market data, it becomes market data. If you plug it in to test an exchange, it becomes an exchange. Sailfish is like water, smooth sailing. That's it, thank you. Thank you, director of Exact Pro. I would like to tell you about another testing tool called Mini Robots. There are plenty of tools and approaches uh, for automated testing as well as performance, load, stress testing of trading systems. But um, how do we find defects that only reveal themselves on the functional and non-functional testing? How do we subject the system to the real production test? Our testing tool called Mini Robots could be the answer. It is specially designed to test trading platforms and market data systems. And uh, when it is in the system, when it is in the system, <laughs> it injects messages uh, and captures feedback to simulate 
very realistic market uh, tra traders behavior using their algos spreading across many instruments and adapting to the changing market conditions. Mini-robots also, is also used for backend testing. And similar to Selfish, we also connect mini-robots to the mar market uh, message gateways, uh, APIs, databases of system being tested. UI testing is also supported. Uh, the test scripts are multi-threaded Java code and a test developer can reproduce a very complex market scenarios depending on what the testing needs are. <laughs> Mini robots can also simulate market data uh, arbitraging and market making behavior. So um, performing a back test of some training algorithm, we usually need to create a counter flow which returns market data replay into its initial recorded state once the order book is changed. That could be achieved by arbitrage and script. Mini robots can also simulate the logic of slicing algorithms. For example, we can create a task script that can reproduce, uh, can simulate execution of a large volume of order, large volume order by broker using PVAP, PVAP and power of volume algorithms. Mini robots can also uh, can also reproduce um, abusive behavior as well. So you can assess how your own algo will behave in the heat of competition against another system sending bursts of messages against the same liquidity. Mini robots can also emulate um, real trader rushing to sell orders in the system just before the closing, run bill, uh, the closing ring bells. <laughs> no, the closing bell rings. <laughs> we can um, execute test scripts separately, but if we group them together and press the fire button, we can, create, we can emulate very realistic trading uh, market environment. To test trading platform, we need to run it alongside another trading platform. So we fire our multi-participant test scripts and see, and see how the flying sparks illuminate hidden defects in the system on the test. So mini robots are like fire. Hello, my name is Marina Kudrevtsova. I'm a senior test manager at Exact Pro. And today I'd like to tell you about post-trade and the tool to test post-trade systems. As all of you are aware, the post-trade systems are the foundation of electronic trading architecture. They, dis they are distributed and interconnected. The post-trade systems... Oh, sorry. <laughs> it's like a technical problem. Okay. So, um, post-trade systems are distributed and interconnected, and um, they have complex operational schedules, and it sometimes takes a few days to test them um, and test the workflows according to the schedules. So you have to structure all your test actions properly to get the meaningful output. Our ClearTH tool was uh, designed for testing systems with this type of complexity in mind. Um, Clear change detects if any issues or, so to say, cracks manifest themselves in the workflows of post-trade systems, checks that the base is solid and works reliably, and all required conditions are taken into account. Um, Clear change has a built-in um, schedule that is set up to follow uh, the post-trade systems under test. Uh, the automated test cases are run according to it, and they are developed as human readable CSV files. Excel or even Notepad can be used to create them. Um, the test scripts consist of actions. Actions are grouped into what we call global steps to reflect um, the schedule of a typical business day or a number of business days. 
So step by step, action by action, clear CH tests the system, producing a thorough report about the testing process. If some actions um, in a test script were performed in um, a strange, unexpected order, or for example, some key parameters are missing, you will receive a hint. And ClearTH allows multiple users to test uh, the system concurrently, so um, it makes the testing process more effective. post trades systems use industry standard solutions to implement their functions. For example, the Swift standards for message definition or message queue as a transport layer for um, message exchange. So uh, ClearChat supports many out-of-the-box protocols as well as custom-made ones. And so it natively speaks the same language as most of post rate systems. ClearChat provides capabilities uh, to test various scenarios, even the most unconventional. By simulating different actions and conditions, ClearChat allows um, detecting uh, potential issues. And um, yeah, so we can predict these future potential issues, so, and it helps detecting an abnormal behavior of, of uh, the system under test. It has many built actions and prototypes to cover the majority of activities. And ClearTH can um, send messages and verify responses. It can analyze the database the system works with. It can check logs or different reports and etc. Postrate is responsible for clearing the dust and turning the outcome of electronic trading into rock solid legal agreements. And by covering as many aspects of post-trade systems as possible, ClearChange essentially allows you to grow your business, um, your post-trade infrastructure in a safe and predictable manner by ensuring that um, the technology solutions that underpin the infrastructure work properly and according to standards and specifications. So, like you, we all have seen the last slide, clear change is like Earth. Thank you. <laughs> wind, oh wind, lot of the sky, herding flocks of clouds on high, stirring up the dark blue ocean, setting all the air in motion. Uh, let me speak to you about our passive testing tool, Shusher. It can be as powerful as a wind and the essential in the same way. Way. Shusha is a post transactional tool which allows to test effortlessly the back end of trading platforms, market data, and post trade systems. We connect it to message gateways, APIs, and databases. Weightless, the tool allows monitoring inputs into and outputs from the system under test by capturing messages, pick up files, parsing logs, analyzing client activity, and forecasting system responses. The captured messages can be views, viewed and analyzed real time or after the, fact, after the fact. Certification tests and data reconciliation can be performed, performed by using SQL queries. Thus, Shusha makes the invisible visible. <laughs> visible. <laughs> Shusha is designed for crystal clarity. Uh, the tool supports industry standard and proprietary protocols. A support for a new protocol is added by creating a specific codec, which is shared between Shusha and Selfish. Thus, these tools meet and unite their powers in testing. A codec is an essential code capable of parsing a particular fi file format or protocol, and uh, it allows increasing testing depth, validating the components swifter, and localizing defects faster. Shusha lightens the whole queue process. Let me give you a couple of examples of how Shusha can be used uh, and why we use it on most of our projects. For example, you have an issue which is reproducible only under load and with a 10% probability. So 
Uh, all uh, the traffic uh, done by uh, tests is captured by Shusher. It is parsed and stored in database. SQL queries are run, and Shusher returns the transparent result. Results such as number of occurrences of an issue, latency, maximum, minimum, throughput, and other non-functional metrics. Let me please mention another example of how Shusha help, helps us, which is when a client performs onboarding certification tests. Uh, the traffic generated by such tests is recorded, it is passed and analyzed by Shusha, and it returns a list of tests with passed or failed status. So this makes the onboarding process really a breeze. Uh, trading platforms, market data, audits, and regulatory requirements. Uh, Shusha is here, here to help us test them. So Shusha is like air. It's fast, clear, transparent, and essential. Thank you.